Hi everybody, welcome back to our classroom channel. I'm so happy you're here with me today. Today we're talking about summarizing. It is the second reading strategy that we are going to talk about. And I'm gonna get straight into it so this is a nice, short, concise video. Make sure that you're taking your notes because these things are very important. So summarizing goes along with our inferring. The definition of summarizing is restating the meaning of the text in one's own words and you have to make sure that they are different words from the original text that you are summarizing. For this, I don't have an activity, but I thought I would summarize my favorite book, my favorite series, and that's the Shadowhunter series. The first book is The City of Bones and these are written by Cassandra Clare. I wrote down my summary so I thought I would read it to you guys. My summary is when Clary discovers a secret demon hunting world on her 16th birthday she didn't realize that her mother was just trying to protect her from her deranged supposed to be dead father. Together with her mundane best friend Simon a new shadow hunter bandit Jace, Isabel, Alec and Clary must uncover her mother's 16 year old secrets while dodging the complexities of the shadow world, all while being an untrained liability. So that is my little summary and I can show you guys how long it is. Now I have huge writing and this is a seven by nine notebook. So it looks quite long, but it's not. It's only three sentences. There are longer sentences or complex sentences but it really doesn't have to be anything special you're just summarizing you are in your own words telling us what happens in your text in your movie in your book whatever it may be in your comic book whatever you're summarizing you're trying to get people interested so did you notice i used some kind of money words some million dollar words some catching words in there um like deranged mundane complexities, untrained liability, right? So I use some million dollar words to kind of draw you in to my summary to make you interested in my book, which by the way, it's a very good book. Highly recommend. It's my favorite. There's a series on Netflix as well and a movie. Just saying. Plug that in. Um, but that is summarizing. Summarizing is very difficult to do. And this was a first draft that I wrote. In reality, you should edit your summaries to make sure that you have included everything that you would like to include. You're not including any details that don't need to be in there. Like, is including that it was her 16th birthday relevant? I don't know. You'd have to find out. You'd have to read the book to find out if it's relevant to you. It's relevant to me because she's been hidden for 16 years. So it's relevant for me, so I added it in there. Is adding all of their names relevant? I think it's relevant because these are like people that go through the whole series, so I added their names. You have to decide what's important and what's not important. That's something that you have to weigh out to put in your summary. So that is summarizing. Uh, it's a very simple idea, harder to do than you would think. So practice, pick your favorite book, write a summary in your journal, edit it, play around with it, whatever you'd like to do. Make sure you have your notes. These reading strategies are really important and they will come in handy, especially if you're trying to convince somebody to read a book that you love. So that is it for today. I'm so glad that you guys were here with me today. I'm so glad you're here learning with me on this weird journey. Um, Holly says goodbye. <laughs> She's been sleeping in the background, but thank you so much for being here. I will see you guys tomorrow for another reading strategy. Bye everybody.